Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog, and today today we're tackling Mystic Cave Zone, and hopefully we're going to make some progress in the game. We have six of the seven Chaos Emeralds, and sorry guys, I just had it paused there while I was getting everything ready. But yeah, we have six of the seven Chaos Emeralds, we only have one more to go, but as I said, I'm going to leave that for a little while. I believe there's a ring capsule up here. Yep, and a star post actually. But first of all, just listen to that. I love this uh, track in this level. I think it's absolutely amazing. And thanks, tell you just fuck me up there. If I get hit, I'm gonna lose all my rings here. Yeah, I can't remember what these ones are called. Light bugs or something like that. Um, as if there are lights flashing, though, you cannot hit them. I believe even if you have supersonic or the um, invincibility, you won't get hit by them. But your attack will do absolutely nothing to them as well. Well, luckily, luckily there, that one wasn't, so I didn't screw up. Oh, fuck me! Yeah, the crushing still is here from Sonic 1. That looked a little questionable to me, though. I look like I have just about enough space to survive that, but apparently the game disagrees with me. Uh, hopefully that's not going to be a recurring theme. Uh, that was just bad game, gaming on my part. Ooh, ooh, biting death on the ball there. Okay, let's not screw this up again. Now there is an infamous spot in one of these levels. I don't know if it's at one or two, but there's basically a bottomless pit that if you have supersonic kind you are basically fucked until you um run out of the rings basically basically there's no way out of it and it's very synonymous in races and stuff because it's very easy to get stuck inside of it and uh, i don't know it's just a pain in the ass here's something a lot of people don't show off we're at the end of the stage here but there's actually two uh ring capsules there very few people actually show that part off But yeah, that's Act 1, um, let's talk about the aesthetics for a moment. I kind of like the design of this level, but I think it's a little... It reminds me of a cabbage for some reason. It doesn't look like a cave, it looks like a big cabbage. I can't really explain why. I love the music, I love, um, the design of the ramps, I, um, and everything you have to jump over. And the bottom of it looks actually quite nice. But I don't know that purple part there, along with all the green, it just reminds me of a big cabbage. Cabbage zone. Uh, yeah, I think we're coming up to the death pit. Hopefully, I can avoid it. I don't want to fall into it because I'm going to be. St well, I'm not going to be stuck, but I don't want to die again. That last death was very questionable, in my personal opinion. And that was my first death of the game. In fact, I, looking back, did I actually die in Sonic 1? I don't think I did, did I? I might have once or twice, but I believe the death pits are down there somewhere. So we have managed to avoid them for the most part. Okay, Tails, you can let go. Extra life. Ah, shield, that's what I wanted. As you can see, the shield is a little bit different. I'll come to boss, I believe, yeah. Uh, the shield is a bit different. Uh, as I said, the invincibility is a little bit different. But other than that, there's really no difference between uh, power-ups and whatnot. Yeah, I got one more hit on you. And I think I only need one more hit, actually, until he's dead. Yeah, there we- oh! Bullshit! But yeah, Mystic Cave Zone done in less than five minutes. That's not too bad. I'm not gonna break any records or anything with this score or this time, but oh, oh, here we go. Oil Ocean Zone. This is where things begin to get a little bit more difficult, in my personal opinion. 
this is not a nice zone, guys. I am sorry if you like this zone, but I don't. This was usually where I'd lose all my lives as a kid. This zone would make me its bitch. Ugh. Aesthetically, it looks quite nice. It's I don't like the music, I have to admit. I'm not a fan of this zone's music. He's it, it, still got that Sonic tone. It's just not something I personally enjoy, but... Oh, bad memories, bad, bad memories. It's also, it can actually be quite a long level as well, this, so... We're probably going to be here for the rest of the part. I might be able to get one of the next zone in, but that's going to be about it. I'm surprised I've not got hit yet. Yeah, new badniks for the, this level. Um, again, I can't remember the names of these badniks. Um, you have a octopus... A squid type badnik that shoots out a little ball of energy. You also have these seahorses which can be a pain in the ass because you don't see them coming. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate. Ah, uh, there we go. That's why I don't like those. However, these are not the most annoying. Tails, you. You know, it's very easy to see why people don't um, tend to have tails with them on their Let's Plays and playthroughs. He's a pain in the ass. Jump over that. I don't think I'm supposed to go this way, but what the fuck. Oh, extra life. Worth it. Up to 13 lives. I've only lost one so far. I said that was my own incompetence, though I can't get over that crush death, to be perfectly honest. As I said, we're about oh, just over two minutes into this level, and we've really not done... I think we're about two-thirds of the way there, maybe a bit more. These levels aren't bad, I just said, they just take a while to get through, and they're not aesthetically the nicest looking levels to be uh, playing a long level off, so, uh, there we go, level end. And we're just, yeah, we <coughs> excuse me, um, we're, st yeah, we still got plenty of time. Illusion Zone Act 2. A lot of people have wondered what would happen if you'd light a match in this level, and, well, I agree with them. I'd like to see this level go up in flames as well. I don't think I'm supposed to go this way, no I'm not. Let's see if I can just jump into that. No I can't, so I'm gonna have to go down and around. Yep, there we go. I completely missed it. Yeah, spike things here often catch me off guard. I knew that one was coming though, so... This actually tricked me off as a kid. Just let go and don't press anything else. Oh, I managed to avoid all those spikes, and it's the fucking seahorse that gets me. Fuck, you know. Die. I gotta wonder why these penguins in this level that you're rescuing. I mean, what have penguins in got to do with an oil ocean zone? And I'm just gonna cheese over that part there. Yep, there we go. Nearly lost my rings, but... Oh, sorry, I thought there was going to be an oil slide there. I am playing this a little bit off memory as well, but like I said, it's been about a year since I played Sonic 2, so... I don't remember it as well as I did. If you fall down there, I believe you have to go all the way back around and back up. Or is that a little bit later? I can't remember. I can't remember a lot today, to be perfectly honest, guys. It's like 20 past 2, and I'm still completely exhausted. Then again, we have been having a bit of a heat wave here in England, and I've not been sleeping too well recently. And we're up to the boss now, so... Yay, happy trails. Uh, this boss is both easy and can be a little bit tricky if you don't know what you're doing. Jump over that, just avoid the spike at the end and you'll be fine. 
This, however, can be <coughs> excuse me, can be a bit tricky. Dodge, 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 and jump. One, two, three, and tails fucks me over again. And I have no rings. Fuck. I know I'm 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 bitching out a little bit here guys, but I don't want Yeah, that's why. I'm sorry, I just don't want to go through the whole level again. Sorry, I know that's cheating a little bit, but this is a let's play purpose. I don't want to keep going through levels and yeah, drowning you little bastard, you're the one that fucked me up and lost me all my rings. I'm just glad we're out of that level. And Metropolis Zone, the only uh, a level I didn't get to go to very often as a kid. As I said earlier, I tended to lose all my rings in all ocean. Uh, and we have our first bandit for this level. I can't remember what those are called. Um, I believe it begins with an S. Obviously, they're starfish type bandits, but I'm trying to remember what they're actually called. But yeah, they shoot projectiles in five different directions. Which can be a little bit disorientating, especially if there's more than one on screen. Because you can have up to about four, I believe, at one point. Um, send projectiles at you. Crab hammers, I believe they're called. Uh, these aren't bad, but they... Oof! Sorry, guys. But they have a weird hitbox. Um... You know, it's very difficult to tell if you've got uh, the hit on them or not because you can jump straight on top of them, but they'll register a hit on you. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, this level has a strange gimmick in that it actually has three acts instead of two from the rest of the uh, from the rest of the zones in this game. I believe that's because this is meant to be like robotics, uh, big fortress type place. Uh, a lot of people don't really like. It though, and I gotta agree with them. This is not really a fun level for me to play through. But I think we're actually coming up to the end of Act 1, nearly. Well, I don't think we've got much longer left, anyway. Yeah, these... This is where you can get uh, blindsided by those. And it's really pissing me off that I can't remember their name. Those starfish type uh, bandits. Oh, slice slicers! These are the worst fucking bandit in the game because their placement is so fucking unfair. It's unbelievable. There's one. There's one bandit in this game. I believe that you cannot avoid to save your life. I don't know anywhere to any way whatsoever to avoid getting hit by it. But it's a pain in the ass. It's really fucking unfair, and I'm probably gonna end up missing it and proving myself wrong so I'm gonna shut up for now but yeah slicers only have one move and that's to send their spike claws or whatever they are at you but um, and then they're completely vulnerable but the problem is like I said oh fuck you is uh, the placement of the bannock is very unfair actually very difficult to avoid getting hit by uh, just need to jump, jump, there we go, end of level. Um, it, yeah, the placement is really unfair in these stages and their projectiles can loop around a little bit, boomerang on themselves. And it, it's just, oh, you'll probably see it a little bit more because I think there's more, more slices as we go along, as we go along these two levels, so you're probably going to see it uh, in the next few minutes. And I'm going to do this act and then I'm going to have to end the video because we're going coming up to 50 minutes and I forgot to keep checking the timer. And I'm probably going to die here. No, I'm not. That was lucky. Uh, there we go. That's one of them. Fuck you. I hate you. I wanted to actually backtrack then and get that, but oh well. I just want to get, I don't like Metropolis Zone, the music's pretty good, but I don't like the level. That's why I mean, oh, 
I don't like the level design, I just want this level over and done with as fast as I possibly can do it. Oh, I thought there was something over there. I can't believe it, but uh, I like that music at the moment. This is probably the best stage to have that music on. Fuck. I, I like to say I like the music of this zone, I just... Having that makes me feel safer because I know I can't get killed at the moment unless I get crushed. Oh, I wonder why I got an extra life then. Or continue, I'm not really sure which I got. Oh, fuck you. Come on, let's just have the level over and done, shall we? Be careful with those. They can be a pain in the ass. If, like I said, about a year ago I did a silent let's play of this, and I actually did very well in this level. Like I say, kind of distracting. Ah, fuck you. Oh, Tails actually did something helpful, and I'm surprised it. Need to be a little bit faster. There we go. I think we're about two thirds of the way done. Hopefully we are anyway, because I'm running. Well, I haven't actually got a time limit. I just want to keep my videos no more than about 18 minutes. Ooh, surprised I didn't get hit there. Ah, tried to hit me, didn't ya? Ah, fuck you, fuck you. I'm sorry guys, I'm still trying to remember what the starfish bannocks are. There we go, act done. One more to go and then we're out of the metropolis zone, thank fuck for that. But yeah, I'm going to end this here, so I'll see you guys next time where we tackle Act 3 of Metropolis. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.